hey guys welcome back to my channel so I'm sitting here on my front porch steps getting ready to start a few projects to get my front porch ready for spring I want to take you guys along with me so I hope you enjoy I have a smaller recessed front porch that I really want to turn into a tranquil place to sit and relax. I want to incorporate a few pieces of outdoor furniture and the first piece that I'm going to be using was gifted to my husband for free and it is this wooden patio table. It's pretty old but I love the fact that each side folds down and I think this is going to work out really well on one side of my porch. I don't particularly want this color, so I'm going to give it a whitewash by mixing some exterior latex paint with water. It's about a half-half ratio. I'm going to mix that really well until it's a pretty runny consistency. And if you recreate a project like this, make sure that you stir your paint with your water throughout the process so that it will be consistent. Because it's such a nice warm day, I'm only going to do sections at a time because this paint will dry fairly quickly. I am also going with the grain of the wood because the brush strokes will show through. Now as it is drying, you can really see that beautiful dark wood coming through this whitewash and I love how this color is turning out. Now if you get any runs or drips because it is a pretty runny paint mixture, let that dry and then you can take a fine grit sandpaper and go over, smooth that out before painting the next section. And I'm going to continue to do this throughout the top side and outside of this patio table and then I'll let it dry for about an hour to an hour and a half and then I'm going to flip it over and paint the bottom side as well so the entire piece will have this beautiful whitewash paint. Another piece that I want to incorporate on my porch is this wooden plant stand. I'm going to give it the same whitewash paint. Now, because this is a different wood and a different color, to get the same paint consistency with the wooden patio table, I did have to give this two coats of that whitewash, but I love how this piece turned out as well. I am also going to be using some terracotta pots from Dollar Tree as well as some of their plastic plant containers. I plan on putting some herb seeds inside of the terracotta pots and I've made labels with my Cricut to just really bring out the beauty in that terracotta color. I'm using a white vinyl and then I'm going to plant some lavender and some strawberries in the larger containers but I'm not going to label those. I purchased one of Dollar Tree's medium-sized plastic um, plant containers, but I didn't want to use this particular color on my porch, so I'm going to give this two coats of some Rust-Oleum brown textured paint. It's going to give it a nice rough texture, and I'll allow that to dry on the bottom side, and then I'm going to flip that over and paint the top inside rim. And I'll allow that to thoroughly dry before I put any type of plants or flowers in there. Now, if you are lucky enough to come across a Dollar Tree Plus, they have some very large plant containers for $3. And I plan on placing this gorgeous fern from Lowe's, just sitting that inside of one of those pots. I also have two of these metal planters for your porch rails. I've had these for many years. They come from Lowe's. My husband made some additions to the brackets since my front porch rails are wider than the brackets that originally come with it. And that way I can hook this on top of my rail and then tighten it up so it will stay secure. And then I'm going to replace the cocoa liner. I tend to keep mine for a couple of years until they're pretty worn out, as you could see previously. I'll just put a new cocoa liner in there. It's going to give my front porch some dimension. And to add a little color, I'll fill that in with some potting soil, and I'm going to add some trailing pansies. So as these grow, they're just going to overflow the front of the basket and fill this up, and it's just going to be gorgeous and flowing from the front and add a bit of color and I'll do that for both of those metal planters one on each side of my porch. Now that my table has dried I'm going to bring this up and put it on one side and I'm only going to lift up half of the table so it'll sit flush to the back side of the wall and I want to put 
or create a water feature to sit on this. So I'm using this drink dispenser with a base. This is from um, Walmart. It's like the Better Homes brand. I've had it for several years, but I don't really use it. So I wanna give it a new life. I'm gonna flip that base over. I've already put water in it to make sure that base is gonna hold water. And I'm gonna use one of Dollar Tree's metal containers. I'm gonna remove the twine from the top and then I'm gonna use Goof Off to remove all that excess glue. Now, if you use this, make sure that you have some gloves on hand because it will dry your hands out and of course, remove your nail polish. And you wanna use this in a well-ventilated area because it has a very strong odor. But it does remove all that excess glue and once I'm finished with that, I make sure that I clean it off with a wet towel before I'm going to assemble my pieces together since this is gonna sit inside of water. So my idea is to set this pot down. It's the same height as my base, which is about five and a half inches. And then I can rest the drink dispenser on top of that. Once it's filled with water, it'll stay in place. That way I can create this water feature where the water will cycle through this fountain pump that I purchased at Lowe's and this vinyl tubing. And it's gonna pull the water from the base up through the drink dispenser and then come out through the faucet. So I'm just going to attach the tubing to the fountain place it in between the pail that I have inside and the base in the back. It has these little suction feet on the bottom that'll really hold it in place. I'm going to hold my dispenser up to determine exactly where I need to make my marks so that I can drill holes in the base as well as the drink dispenser to be able to insert that vinyl tubing. Now, I did not have a drill bit on hand that was large enough for the tubing, so once I drill through, I'm just gonna make that hole a little bit bigger. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses because this is metal, and if need be, you may need to wear gloves to keep from cutting your hands on this metal. So once I know that the tubing is gonna fit through that hole, I'm gonna push that through and then I'll cut the tubing down once I know exactly how long I need it to be. And now those little suction feet, it'll push right back into the back side of that and stay in place between that pail that I'm gonna put inside and the backing of the base. I'm going to drill the hole for the dispenser and then I didn't have a hammer or anything close by so I'm just gonna use the end of my scissors to tap that down to make sure there's no sharp edging and you can't cut your, your hand or anything like that. Now I can insert the tubing into the dispenser. I'm gonna add some water to it um, below the line of the tubing in the base, open that faucet up, plug it up and let's see if it works. What a tranquil and relaxing sound. I'm going to plug a drop cord in so that I don't have to move my table every time I wanna plug this up. I'm using two planters from Family Dollar for $5 a piece that I can plant some flower seeds in, as well as that very large plastic container from Dollar Tree Plus and insert my fern. And I wanna incorporate my stoneware crock that I have and I'm going to place this on the other side. I think it's gonna be very beautiful and I can add a flower container that fits with the rim of the crock right in the top. What a beautiful, peaceful setting in that tranquil water. I am loving how that side is turning out. For the front door, I'm gonna hang the DIY wisteria wreath that I made. I'll have that video linked in my description box below if you're interested in seeing that, as well as this beautiful mat from Dollar General for $8, which fits perfectly with the theme that I'm going for here on the porch. On the opposite side, I'm gonna use the wooden plant stand as well as a metal plant stand from Family Dollar and incorporate this ladder that my husband made using the bottom part of an attic ladder and he added two by fours to the back. I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for my herbs. I planted some pansies inside of that pot that I painted brown and put that on the metal plant stand. And for the wooden plant stand, I have this beautiful metal watering can from Walmart. I've planted flower seeds in those containers and then this thrifted teapot at the bottom that brings all the colors together. Now that sweet ladder that my husband made is perfect for all of the herbs and the lavender and the strawberries. And I think that my porch is finished. 
you guys let me know in the comments what you think of my front porch makeover. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Please take care and I'll see you next time.